Hello, Honors Chemistry students, and welcome to your first official lab for Honors Chem. The Honors Chemistry team wants your, our labs to be as close as they can be to you actually doing them in school. Um, sadly, we obviously can't do them in school, but we're going to have it as close as possible. Uh, luckily, one of your fellow classmates, another class of 2023, a student has been quarantined with me this entire time, and that would be my son, and you're going to meet him later. Um, Maurice is going to be everyone's lab partner in a way this year because he's going to actually be performing the labs in my kitchen, and then you guys are going to be doing all of the calculations and observing him um, and making some of the measurements along with him. So let's talk specifically about the, the, the aluminum foil lab. The goal of this lab is for you to determine the thickness of a piece of aluminum foil. Just like, just like right this. All right. The equipment and the only equipment that's going to be provided to you, Maurice, um, is going to be a ruler. All right. And an electronic balance. So obviously, you know, if you look at the ruler and you look at this piece of aluminum foil, you're not going to be able to actually measure the thickness of it. All you could do is tell me, well, it's less than a millimeter. All right. That's not going to be good enough. You're going to do some other calculations to actually determine how thick this aluminum foil is. So in your packets, you will have the thickness height of a sheet of aluminum sheet. This is what you should be doing. Uh, you should do the pre-lab questions before you watch the video. All right, you'll have time to go over these with your lab groups when we're back in class. All right, and then there are the procedures, okay? Before you even do the pre-lab, though, you'll notice on my labs um, that there's always a little paragraph at the beginning. I know a lot of you are used to skipping these paragraphs and just going straight in. Don't do that. All right, they're not long and there's always really valuable information typically telling you exactly how to solve the problems. So read that little introduction, do your pre-lab, then you're going to come back to this video and you're going to watch as Maurice does some measurements. You're going to record on the back the data that Maurice has um, shown you. All right. Then you're going to attempt the calculations. But then what you can also do is wait until you're with your lab groups during class to work on those. All right. And obviously um, I or Mr. Ford or Mr. Gone will be there to answer any questions you have. All right. So enjoy. Hello everybody, I'm Maurice. Welcome to our chemistry lab. As Maurice is making the measurements, you should, should be writing down, according to appropriate significant figures, what those measurements are. Remember everything that the instrument tells you and an estimated digit. What's the mass, Maurice? Zero. Is that possible? Does that piece of aluminum foil have mass? Yes. So what do you think's wrong? I don't know. <laughs> Maurice, let's look at this. This is our balance. Let's lift the lid of the balance. All right, when using a balance, make sure it always reads zero. If it's not, like now, you're gonna hit the on button, which zeroes the balance. Great, okay, go ahead. For an electronic balance, you write down exactly the numbers shown. There's no need for you to estimate the digit, the balance did it for you. Okay. 